Hi all. Let's talk about what is a conditional speed transformation in SSIS. Conditional speed transformation is a kind of self-explanatory in SSIS. It will help us to split the data based on the certain conditions. Let us say if my conditional speed transformation contains one condition, I will be getting two outputs. One output for the satisfied condition output, conditional output, the, the second output for the not satisfied output. When I say I have two conditions in the conditional speed transformations, then I will be getting three outputs. Two are the satisfied outputs. The one is the default or not satisfied output. Let us make a generic statement. If I have a n conditions in the conditional speed transformations, then I will be getting n plus one outputs. n outputs are the satisfied outputs and the last plus one output is the not satisfied or default output. Let me show you how to implement a conditional speed transformation practically in SQL Server Data Tools SSIS. Let me go to SQL Server Data Tools. So for uh, to uh, show you a basic example, I have designed a plat file source and two plat file destinations and one conditional split. Okay. So let me show you first of all. If you see here, I have a plat file source with four columns and three rows ID, name, location and gender. So in this example, I am planning to segregate the employees on the top of the gender. So here I have two genders, males and females. So I am planning to segregate the employees based on the gender. Then I will be getting two outputs. One is the satisfied output and the other one is a default output. And I am writing only one condition because I have only two options here. So if I write one condition, the other would be the other output. So now how to write how to configure a conditional split or how to write a condition here. So double click on the conditional split there. So you can write in the condition gender equal to equal to M. M is in the double quotes and the output name you can put it. So males I am keeping as a males. But by default you will get output one. You can change it to males. Okay. So now while when I am configuring the destinations. So I have to say what output it is. So males. So first I need to I, I said as a males. The other one would be default as a conditional split default output or not satisfied output. So here I am configuring into a destination of male employees to this side. And the other one is a female employees. So when I run, let me show you. So it automatically splits the data based on the condition. All male employees will go and sit into the male employees uh, file and all female employees will go and sit into the female employees file with the help of conditional split default output. So let me run this. So by looking at this uh, diagram, you can easily say so my conditional split are taken three rows into the input and it splitted the data based on the conditions. I mean two rows went to the male output. The other one row went to the female output. So this is how we need to implement a conditional split transformation. So this is a very frequent transformation in SSIS. That's it. Thank you for watching.